surviving. You like the vibing. It's surviving. You like the vibing. So today guys I'm going to be bleaching the knots on my lace frontal closure which is going to be super easy and super simple to follow. So all I use is bleach, a mixing bowl, a brush and my developer. I use 20 volume developer. And also if you don't want to mess up anything around you get like a plastic and like spread it on your surface that you're going to be using. So right now I'm just pouring the bleach. I'm only using a little package because it's a, a lace frontal you don't really need that much bleach and I'm just eyeballing it. So I'm pouring that into the bowl. And then I'm going to add my developer with it. And once you add the developer, you want to make sure that it's not too runny. You kind of want a thick, pasty, pasty consistency just so that when it's sitting there, it's not bleeding through the, the lace. You don't want to bleach the actual hair. You just want to bleach the little black dots. Once I finished mixing it, it was still a little bit runny, so that's why I added some more of the bleach. Now that I have the consistency that I want, I'm taking my lace frontal and I'm laying it over the surface, which I'll be applying the bleach on. Before you apply your bleach, you just want to turn your frontal over and just pin back all of the little baby hairs because they're all flying all over the place. Just so when you're applying the bleach, it doesn't touch all those little hairs and then they all start going blonde. So now we're going to get ready to finally apply. And when you're applying, you kind of want to dab it on. You don't really want to rub it on. So just lightly pat. You don't want to like be too like add too much pressure so that it seeps through. So I'm kind of just patting it, taking a lot and just patting it on. This is why you kind of wanted that thick consistency because if you even if you tapped it with a light consistency, it probably would have bled through. And then just keep doing that all the way through from each end to each end and take your time don't rush because you don't want to mess up once I was done I took a piece of foil and I placed it on top to help with the processing and then I waited about 20 plus minutes after about 30 minutes, I rinsed it out and I put the side that was bleached facing towards the sink and I ran the water down and then I just rinsed it off. But these knots were very hard to bleach. They're even, I didn't get all of them, but it, it looks way better than it was before. But this is the turnout, guys. It looks a little bit more realistic and it has a better tone for my scalp. And that's it, guys. Easy peasy. Mm -hmm.